assalamu alaikum uh, today's topic is moral development moral development it, it is a complex issue it is a concern for everyone on how to distinguish right from wrong the theory of moral reasoning it helps us in understanding how do we develop attitudes and behaviors towards others in the society now um th this concept of moral development the theory of moral development was developed by jean pega uh, he introduced the idea that moral development occurs in stages and each level uh, is built on the life experiences and active reasoning now, this idea was furthered by lawrence kohlberg and uh, he examined how moral reasoning changes as we grow so how did people determine what was right or wrong that followed a specific pattern of human behavior um so he conducted kohlberg conducted a um, study st different studies in which different age groups were asked to offer reasoning um reasoning to a dilemma what is a dilemma dilemma is is a situation in which a difficult choice is to be made um so you have to make choices between two difficult alternatives uh, especially the ones that are equally undesirable so let's take a take take an example of a moral dilemma so there's a man who loves his wife very um who loves his wife very much um and he gets to know that his wife is diagnosed with a rare type of uh, cancer she does not have long to live with um so luckily there's a pharmacist and uh, she invents a drug that could cure her the pharmacist owns all the rights to sell that drug but she decides to charge a high profit for selling that drug um now the person is um, he does not have enough money to pay for the drug so he decides to do a lot of work he works extra he um goes to different charity organizations but at the end he is unable to secure the amount of funds that is required to purchase that particular drug now desperate and running out of time he decides to steal the drug from the pharmacy now the question here is was this the right thing to do or was it wrong now the second question is why what are your reasons for it now the uh, kohlberg introduced the stages of moral development so there are three levels of moral reasoning and that encompasses six different stages so we are going to look at each of the different stage and then we'll evaluate uh, your reasoning and uh, with specific reference to that example that we have already discussed we are going to discuss it um each stage wise so the first level is pre conventional level this is young children that who are under the age of 9 generally young children under the age of 9 uh, now when we talk about the stage 1 stage 1 is obedience and punishment orientation now this first stage highlights the self interest of children in their decision making now they want to avoid punishment at all cost so in our relation in relation to our example um, the man should not steal the drug because he may go to jail if he is caught they believe that rules are meant to be followed and those in charge will undoubtedly Uh, follow through with the punishment so a child's reasoning to the above example would be uh, it's bad to steal it's against the law uh, without actually assessing any other perspective without actually looking into the details of the case it's against the law so that is wrong um, so this this stage is the the particular stage is labeled pre conventional because of the limited association that children have uh with the outline principles they view ethics taught as something that that society implements not as something that 
they internalize themselves. Now, the second stage is individualism, individualism in exchange. Now, this stage observes how children begin to adopt, adopt the views taught, but they also recognize that there's more than one point of view. Each person uh, is different. Therefore, it, the, each person will have a unique um, outlook according to their interest. In terms of the example that we were discussing, he may think that it is right to take the drug, but the pharmacist would not. Now, the second stage, it relies heavily on the exchange of favors, and it can be summarized with the common marketing uh, phrase, what's in it for me? So children at this stage are not motivated by friendship uh, or respect, but they are motivated by the personal advantage uh, that they can attain from a situation. Uh, so, for example, if a parent asks you to uh, clean the house, the, ch the, the child may ask what's the benefit that they will get out of it. So, parents often re recognize this mindset at this stage, so they offer a reward such as pocket money. Then comes the, third, uh, the second level, which is the conventional morality. Older, older children, um, and most adults. Generally, this is uh, the conventional moral morality state. Is this the stage third is good interpersonal relationship? This stage recognizes the desire to be accepted into societal groups as well as how each person is affected by the outcome. So, in terms of our example above, the man should take the medicine from the pharmacy if he's a good partner. He loves his wife, so this is his responsibility to steal, uh, take care of her, and hence stealing is justified. Now, in this stage, um, it's generally the pre-teens pre or um, um, early teenagers, and they have adopted the societal norms as their own. While they believe that people should behave appropriately in their communities, but they recognize that there is, there is no simple solution. Uh, to moral dilemmas. There is no simple solution to any such moral dilemma. So they accepted that he should steal the medicine and he was a good man for wanting to save her. They also reasoned that his intentions were good, that saving the life of someone he loves, which is completely normal. Now, the fourth stage is maintaining the social order. In this stage, laws and social order, they reign supreme. Rules and regulations, they are made to be followed and obeyed. So the man should not steal the medicine because it is against the law. Now, do not confuse this with the first stage. In the first stage, you were trying, uh, um, the respondents who were in the first stage, they were uh, responding because uh, they, they, they said that it's bad to steal because of the fear of punishment. But here, you, uh, the respondents believe that since it is against the law and in order to maintain the social order, we should not go against the law. So this stage four shows the moral development of a person as part of a whole. So third stage was um, maintaining co close relationships with family, friends. But the fourth stage, you maintain social order in the community. Um, so participants in this stage would argue that while they understood why he wanted to steal the medication, they could not support the idea of theft because society cannot maintain order if its members, they decide to break the law and take matters into their own hands. There will be complete chaos. That is why no one should steal. Then comes the post-conventional morality stage. Uh, it's rare with adolescents but uh, and few adults as well. So stage five is, um, this stage acknowledges that what makes for a good society, the introduction of abstract reasoning as people attempt to explain specific behaviors. So the man should steal the medication because she is ill and the laws, they do not take the circumstances into consideration. So this is why uh, the respondents will reason that uh, it's okay to just uh, to steal um, 
Now they are able to step back and assess each situation as a whole. So they, the focus is on reflection, reflecting on what is good and just, reflecting on the morals and ethics of, of the community. Um, so a society that runs smoothly does not necessarily uphold their desired principles. This is one step ahead of the stage four where the main goal was to keep society functioning at all costs. This is one step ahead of um, just maintaining the social order. Then comes the sixth stage of moral development, universal principles. Now the final stage of, of this theory states that moral reasoning is based on personal values. So it's okay to take the medication without pain because property is not as valuable as his life. Now this stage uh, is something that, uh, that uh, was created to acknowledge the use of justice in moral reasoning. Now, universal morals, ethics are used as a baseline for what is right and wrong. These are often abstract concepts that cannot be clearly defined. Equality, justice, dignity, um, so laws and rules are only effective if they support the universal principles which each person at this stage works to uphold. So in summary, um, in the first stage, the children, they obey the rules taught and believe what the society say is right. Avoiding punishment is a leading factor in their desire to obey the authority. This has this uh, this changes in the stage two, where children can see that there are multiple points of view. Uh, they tend to reason according to their own self-interest, including uh, trading things with other. Exchange is the focus. Now, in stage three, people value as um, value a supportive community, and therefore they have the desire to be good uh, and helpful member this changes as they move into stage four uh, so they they focus on maintaining the social order um, and in stage five people evolve from the idea of being good into what would be the right thing to do they seek to create morals and values for good society instead of just maintaining the society uh, the order in the society for the sake of doing so. They, they take these ideas one step ahead in stage six, where they work to incorporate justice and create a fair society for all. So these were the stages of moral development. Uh, and I know it's quite complicated, but if you look at these stages, you can understand how, um, how you can um, differentiate between right or wrong by following a specific pattern of human behavior. Thanks so much.